Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with Franquicie, as it has been reported that the 25 million euro rated Barca midfielder is considered non transferable now thanks to Deco. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, in this episode, talking about this Bayern Munich right back. Um, Benjamin Pavard, as it has been reported that Barca are still interested in the 40 million euro rated Bayern Munich defender. Liverpool, Chelsea are also keen. We are also going to be discussing on that news. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, endeavor to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified Whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Over the past month or so, there has been a lot of chatter about the future of FC Barcelona midfielder Frank Isier. The Ivorian arrived at the club only a year ago and endured a difficult debut season where he found regular game time hard to come by. However, Frank Isier did showcase quite a few positives in the limited opportunities that came his way. But with Barcelona needing to make sales this summer to resolve their financial fair play situation, Kissier's name has been touted as a possible departee, along with the likes of Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres. However, according to the latest report from Sport, Kissier is now considered non-transferable by Barcelona, courtesy of um, incoming sporting director Deco who values the 26-year-old's profile a great deal. The sports department considers that Casey's profile is different from the rest of the midfielders on the club's books and they do not wish to undersell an asset with great value. Furthermore, Deco says that the Ivory Coast International is a good footballer with a long contract and the only way Barcelona could generate a salary margin from his sale would be from a very big offer, which is not forthcoming. As such, the former midfielder turned director now wants to keep hold of the former AC Milan star Franchisi, as his exit would not solve Barcelona's financial fair play problems. So as things stand, Franchisi, whose market value currently stands at 25 million euros, will not be sold by Barcelona, nor will he be sold in the operation to sign Marcelo Brozovic with the Catalans offering 15 million euro cash for the Croatian midfielder services. Frank Hesse's entourage is aware of these new developments and they are certain to welcome the move as they were never really keen on facilitating an exit for the midfielder this summer. The 26-year-old has always wanted to stay put at Barcelona and succeed. So for now, Franchisi appears likely to stay with the La Liga champions and the only way that could change it is if an offer in excess of 35 million euros were to arrive at Storms at some stage in the summer, which does not even look possible. I think that's a great development. Franchisi was linked with a move away from Barca. Um, Barca were looking for a huge, a huge price or whatever, but that did not even come and to be honest the fact that Deco have come and said look this guy shouldn't be sold he is a midfielder with a difference you know Barcelona of course we know the type of midfielder that Barca would like to have but Franchisi is quite different and I think he can help us in many ways especially when we face some kind of opponents in Champions League and of course he can help us in many ways and I think it's a good decision as Deco the new director of Barcelona have said he shouldn't be sold as the player looks um, a very good. He's a very good footballer, by the way, that many top clubs in Europe would like to have in the squad. But Xavi has not been really too fond on having him playing regularly. And I think it's really sad, to be honest. So this will come as a huge development for Franchisi and his agent, who have been scared that the midfielder will likely be sold as Barca have been asking for 35 million euros for the player, whereas they know very well that no club will pay such an amount. And Deco insisted that even if they sell Franchisi for 25 or whatever amount, it might not even solve the issue of financial fair play that Barca are fighting to resolve. So there's no need. Better they should keep him. He's still a very good asset for the club. And of course, it would even help us to have squad depth. We need squad depth. 
Um, so, of course, Barcelona need to sell. That's the truth. They need to sell. But there are players that I think they, they are worth to be sold than Frank Isier. You know, players like Ferran Torres, players like Eric Garcia. Those are players that we can sell, sell them, you know. Then players on loan like Clement Langlet, players who were on loan like Samuel Umtiti, um, players like Sejino Des. Those are players that need to be sold. Nico Gonzalez, players who did poorly in the loan season. We need to sell. We need to do some sacrifices. If not, uh, it's going to be difficult for us to go for more players and even register them. Because we don't need those crazy dramas that always happen at the back end of the summer when Barca will start running up and down that players should please reduce their salaries because they want to register this or that player. That's what Barca should try to prevent at all costs this summer. So let's see how things will go. Of course, as Frankie C, according to what this report is saying, Deco have said they shouldn't sell him. Then moving on to the final story of discussion, Barcelona are still on the lookout for a new right back heading into the summer, although it is not at the top of their priority list, as Javi said. Several low-cost names such as Ivan Fresneda of Real Valladolid and Lucharel of Feyenoid continue to be links while Jao Cancelo remains high on the agenda as well. However, according to a fresh report from German journalist Christian Falk, Barcelona were and they are still interested in this Bayern Munich defender Benjamin Pavard who is on the market this summer. The Catalans have been linked with a move for the Frenchman for many months together now. Although the links had gone quiet of late, especially with reports suggesting that Pavard wished to play as a centre-back moving forward. However, Falk writes that Barcelona continue to hold an interest in Pavard, but are not the only top team pursuing his services. Indeed, as per the report, Premier League heavyweight Liverpool, Chelsea and Manchester City are also looking at the 2018 FIFA World Cup winner as a big target. In fact, there have been talks uh, with Liverpool, although they have not led to anything substantial as of yet. Liverpool and Pavard, they talk with the agents, but you know, have never been concrete with the club, and that's also the positions of other clubs, the journalist said. He said again that there aren't many clubs which are of interest to Pavard. There was, and it's Barca. There is Liverpool, Chelsea, then if City are on the table, City too. Pavard, whose current market value stands now at 40 million, is entering the final year of his contract with Bayern. As such, he has no desire to renew his contract and is looking for a way out from the Allianz Arena. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye for now.